Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, the big day is finally here. Getting my dream car has been something that I've wanted since I was a kid. I think every kid dreams of one day owning, you know, that vehicle that seems just so awesome and cool to them. To now have it finally becoming true, not only a blessing, but it has been many sacrifices, long hours and long days, how to treat myself on something. So this would not be possible without the support of all you guys out there. I can't believe this is even real. And you know, day in and day out, I'm so grateful for the courageous. I wanna make sure to my younger audience, you guys understand that this was a calculated long time non-impulse decision. This was something that I did after working with the financial team I work with, after taking care of my family financially. This was a decision that I can make without having to stress. Do not, if you come into money and begin to make your own money, just go and splurge it all in a car because that is a bad investment. If you don't believe me, what's funny is I have this little car right here. Almost over a year ago now, my parents, when they knew I wanted to get the Urus after I saw it for the first time and fell in love with it, they bought me the exact model and look that I wanted. But I've had this as a reminder to continue to work hard. If you guys are excited, leave a like on the video and without further ado let's go check out my brand new 2020 Lamborghini Urus look at this car dude holy shit here he is this is a bow congrats thank you man the day has come thank you here she is my. oh my think, it's all oh, good shit bro wow Oh my fucking god, I just gotta walk around it. Jesus Christ almighty. What do you think? It's fucking phenomenal, dude. It looks so good. Oh my god. Can you it? This is just ridiculous. I mean, I don't even want to touch it, man. <laughs> no, I wanted to come see it in person. I, I, like, I know for a fact, obviously, I'm getting intense. I'm the type of person that, like, I gotta let it breathe for a few days. Of course. And then yeah. come back and make the decision. So, Absolutely, yeah. I didn't want to do anything crazy, but I just noticed that in the first photo. But man, it looks yeah. fucking phenomenal. This guy. Jesus. Look at this thing. We'll get you guys some waters. This is what Tim wants. I gotta send him a picture. Yeah. So Tim the Tab Man's our buddy. He's a big uh, he's a big streamer as well. Oh, okay. And right now he's got over 300,000 people watching him play a game because he can't fucking win and he's so bad at it. Uh, I'm dead? I'm getting I'm getting trolled! Do you not see what is happening? So as you guys will see, my vision with it was that I wanted something with space that I could fit friends in, drive around, go on a road trip. While I do love the two-seater, low to the ground cars, I just didn't want it as something that I would be driving on a daily basis. I couldn't fucking be happier with, with, with the way it looks. You don't want to go with pink color? Yeah, get, get that on camera, get the pink. Oh yeah, I think no. that's the color you should've got. No, no, I think other than that, it's I'll good. I'll the pink to other people. <laughs> It's official now, huh? Signed? It is done. Everything's signed. Oh, if you're wondering why Maddie's not here, she's in the middle of climbing the tallest peak in the Western Hemisphere, Mount Whitney. She gets back later. Oh, really? That's why my girlfriend's not with me. You're gonna take her for a drive tonight when she gets back? Or tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna drive. I'm, I'm, she's gonna be like, oh, I need to go get this from the store. I'm gonna be like, I'll drive. Yeah. Environment, it's ridiculous. What? Like, even if you turn on the blinker, it'll show the blinkers on. Yeah, so no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> like you motherfuckers out there driving this shit, y'all better not suck. Yeah, yeah. Can you do this? Nice and easy. Let's go! You said it could have been done! You said it could have We officially have it. We're about to drive back to the house, check out and see what uh, what Matt thinks. Matt and Brooke and Mason get a feel for it here. Ready? Shit. Thanks for picking up my new car. Yeah, I got you, bro. Anytime. You need me to lend it to you? So I'm actually, if any, if you didn't know, I'll be test driving this. Oh, for um, sure. Yeah. Well, with your license, I, right? I, I'm gonna get my permit soon, and this is gonna be my my car that it. Oh wow! Me to what a guy! What a, you're so nice. What a car, huh? That's pretty nuts. I right? love the red. You got all different like massage modes. A full almost. Do you touch it? Mm -hmm. You touch it. What do you think of that? <laughs> Isn't that fucking crazy, bro? You want to go for a ride around the block? Fuck it, let's run it. Let's go. Dude, I'm getting a full on massage right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to that. <laughs> What'd you think? Some pretty solid stuff. Pretty solid. I'd rate it like a, I'd rate it like a, a nine. Nine. No? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Dude, it is just way too clean. What's up, man? Low gang. What's up? Holy shit, yeah, bro. Man, 
with the red stitching too on top. Yeah, what's crazy is on the way here, there was a literal 15 police car. There was a oh stolen God. Bentley. <laughs> Drove right past this 15 cop car helicopter. <laughs> I was like, that motherfucker better not get near me. <laughs> hey, bro, you should have chased it down. I probably could have. Massage right now? On oh, the yeah, you got the massage sheet on already. I forgot. <laughs> oh, my God. Am I going to get a hand job too, or how's that work? Yeah, that, that comes out of the front that glove box, actually. Oh, great. How do I... <laughs> <laughs> so this is the different mode, obviously. Yeah. We're in sport now. I want to go to Neve. Holy shit. <laughs> Bro, that has by far way more kick than my Tesla. And, uh... Yo, Elon has some bullshit talking about electric is the future. <laughs> I want to hear Corsa. I want you to open it up. All right, we'll do it right here. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to hear this thing. have kids anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. The 2020 Lamborghini Urus out in the wild. I literally couldn't be happier with the car. We put the down payment on it back in January. It is here now. Once the tints are added, black and red interior, black and red on the outside. You can see the calipers are red with the Lamborghini logo right in the center of them. And we can go ahead and just look around the car and see the things that I like most about it. First off, the front of it's just mean looking, right? Right now the windows are in because the car is off, but the front is just such a distinct look. I think it looks different than almost any other SUV out there. Obviously the Lamborghini logo right on the front too is clean as ever. The paint actually has like, you kind of see like the little flecks in it. Just add a little bit of extra kind of emphasis to the car itself. The 23 inch wheels. You've got obviously the Italian flag. This was made in the Italian factory, which shut down during COVID. And then the back of the car, what I love about it is it's got space. It's practical. It's got speed, 650 horsepower. The thing is friggin' loud when you rip it. Honestly, while I love the exterior and love the way it looks on the outside, the interior of this car is just unmatched in my opinion. It, it is exactly how I wanted it, how I envisioned it. So let's go ahead into the car and take a look. Ooh-wee! Now we are inside. Big body. I don't have a name for the car yet, by the way, so leave in the comments below what I should call her because it's it, it's a girl. She's beautiful. Maddie, if you're watching this, I love you. But this is another girl that I now love in my life. And you're gonna have to get used to that, okay? The red and black leather, red Lamborghini embroidered into the seats. I love the way the dash looks with the chrome accent. You got red all up and through it. The wheel is just such a, a, a unique shape. Again, the Italian flag, just giving that little pop of color. Into here, you've got where USB can be plugged in, but then also wireless charger for my phone. Stop and start for the ignition, that's how you start the car. You can set up completely different driving modes. So here is anima, which means soul in Italian. So when you change the mode of the car, it's considered that you're changing the soul of the car. So you've got strata, which is uh, street, sport, which is sport, a corsa, which is race, and Nev, Neve, Neve, I, I, I don't know. If you're Italian, let me know how wrong I am, which I, if I'm not mistaken is snow. But then on this side, I can completely customize how they are. So each of those different driving options has a way that the car will feel, how it'll drive, how it'll sound. Let's go ahead and turn the car on so you guys can see firsthand exactly what it's like. So you lift this up. And right off the bat, you're just ready to drive this thing, man. I mean, it, you hear the exhaust. Here's a look at what you got to work with in here. So first off, because it's a brand new car, it keeps giving me damn tool tips to help me understand how to work a touchscreen like I'm some boomer. Through this, I can change the interior lighting on the car that uh, you'll obviously note at night. The seats, full cooling seats, full heated seats. The sound system, it's a Bang & Olufsen sound system. Goes throughout the whole car. I think it's like 23 different speakers or something along those lines. I might have just made that up, but then again, I make up a lot of things and sound like I'm correct. Panoramic roof takes up the entire like like over 50 percent of the entire roof of the car which i love all the legroom i need yeah sure i'm not six foot five there's proof of that now on camera but it's all, all the space like i want we had four people in here earlier people in the back while we were comfortably stretched in the front had no issue at all with, with with sitting when i change the way that the cars go you actually see the full heads up display change as well it's got the ability to um search on up with, with google maps you can search via touchpad here so if you look Let's say I want to go to Staples Center. I can S-T-A-P 
P L E S S T A. And immediately it's got links for Staples Center to direct me there, everything that I need. When I go in reverse, so to put it the car in reverse, you actually pull this lever back. Now the car's in reverse, and you can see Logan taking pictures back there, but it's got cameras all around the vehicle. It's got a 3D overhead projection, so you can like basically never fuck up by hitting a curb. And then when you go in here, it can make a 3D model of the car. That's the car from like the outside of what it looks like in my surroundings or to make sure that you don't get near anything. I go from the side to see what it looks like versus the curb on my side. Right now it's beeping because Logan's taking photos in the back right. Friggin' fool, foolproof if you bump into something in this thing from behind. What the hell are you doing? Like if I go here and say, bring me to Chipotle. Okay, Searching for Chipotle. I can click to the nearest one. Boom, it's got all the links for Chipotle. The car goes zero to 60 in 3.2 uh, seconds. If I'm not mistaken, oh, it's still listening to me. I, I never ended it at all. It's on both the front seats. There's a uh, full massage setting with intensity. It's got wave, pulse, stretch, relaxation, shoulder. So right now on my back, the massage. You're in reverse, you're in reverse, oh, you're in reverse, you're in reverse. Oh shit. Never. Yo, keep that in the video, bro. Oh. Okay, now we're in park. It's important to put your car in park. That's what we get for going through every setting in the car and not looking. Take a look at the back seat. You'll see a ton of space there. You can drop the middle for an armrest. You've got full air conditioning control here. If you guys want to ride in the car, make sure you sub to the channel. Make sure you like the video. I can't promise you that you'll ever get a ride in the car, but what I can promise is that it'll up your chances. So again, obviously we've got all sorts of equipment in here, but when you look at it, we got a backpack, we got camera equipment, we've got the whole cover of the car, a box, another bag, and that's with the uh, the protector on it to make sure you can't see what's in here. I know what a lot of you guys are waiting for. You wanna hear what the car sounds like, so I'm gonna hop in. You guys can hear when it goes into its different modes. I'll rev the engine a bit. Some of you guys out there might be huge car buffs and say, damn Jack, you didn't use any of the technical terms. And I'm gonna say, yeah, I didn't use any of the technical terms because I play fucking video games and I liked this car and I wanted it, so I got it the way that I wanted it. But I'm not gonna tell you the fucking tire pressure per square inch and, and this about this and this about this. It's fast, it looks good, it sounds great, and that's what matters to me. So let me hop in the car. We'll go ahead and get up nice and close so you can hear exactly what it sounds like, all right? revealed thank you again guys for the support can't believe this is real life gonna be having some more vlogs with it make sure you guys leave a like what do you guys want to see me do with the car what do you guys want to see video wise thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the streams all right with that being said see you guys next time peace beautiful beautiful, beautiful.